So let's talk about fluid move behavior in WPF. Uh, this is a sample application I made in uh, Visual Studio 2017. Let me run this and see what I mean. Um, so on the left hand side I have a list box, this is a master list box, and on the right section, right side, I have detail section. Um, so when I select an item from our list box, it's going to transition or animate and move to the right. Beautiful. So that's what we want to achieve today. Okay. Let me close this. And uh, I made a simple uh, cheat sheet over here. So we're going to need a few things. So we need a master detail project. Um, I made it already a master detail video. If you haven't seen it, please go ahead and check that out because this is definitely going to be based on that. Okay, then we're going to need two references. One is Microsoft Expression Interactions and the other one is System Windows Interactivity. And then once we add those references, we're going to import namespaces. All right, so let's start with, let me open up my uh, master detail application that I made in one of our last videos and run this and see what I mean. So here's our master detail. When we select, again, the items will display, but there is no animations, no transitions, nothing like that. So we're going to accomplish that in this video. All right, close this and start with adding the references. Going to references, right click, add reference. Again, uh, it's under assemblies. If it's not selected, if it's one of these, just go scroll up and select. Click on assemblies and in the search box, we're going to type in Microsoft Expression in Interactions. Microsoft Expression. Okay, as soon as we do that, we get some options and we are looking for. And let's keep typing expressions. Interactions right here. We're going to select the latest available version and click OK. That's added. Next, we are going to add System Windows Interactivity. Search System. Windows Interactivity. Select the same latest version and click OK. Right, so now we have both references. Now we need to import this into our XAML file. Okay, let's create a namespace here. First one we are going to call I, name it I, and this is going to be interactivity. You can select from the list here. And next one is going to be We're going to name it EI, Expression Interactions. It's 
going to be interactions. Okay. So far, so good. All right, see what's on the list. Next, we're going to go into master section and find our text block over here. Let's view text block. So our text block, our source is here. We're going to expand this. And inside here, we're going to copy this code. Or you can type it. All right. format this document hmm. normally works great All right, let's manually adjust the alignment okay so the master section is good to go Now we are going to go to target. We have to do this for each target. We have the photo, make, and model, right? So let's start with the photo. Let's expand this again, close, open, close. And inside those open, close tags, we are going to pay, copy and paste this code here. Copy and paste. Same thing we're going to do with these text boxes here. I mean text blocks. Let's uh, expand them and paste the code. Mm, one last time. Let's try to form it again. Some reason it doesn't want to work today in mean, the formatting. Maybe because you did copy paste, maybe that's why. We should be good to go. Let's build and run. First, let's build it. I think we completed our steps, right? Yes. We had references, namespaces, we added the source in the master section, and we added our code to the target. So let's run it. Okay, let's select one of the items. Excellent. 
All right, there you have it. So that's a nutshell as fluid move. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good day.